Welcome to Land House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. There is a concept with the ram pump, and that is if you put a inline valve, such as this one right here, in the delivery pipe going uphill, it will hopefully increase the output of the pump. And the way it's supposed to work is that as the ram pump cycles, the waste valve will slam closed. And when it opens, there's a moment where the pump is not pushing water out. And that moment is where the water in the delivery pipe can fall back down a little bit. And the inline valve inside the delivery pipe going up will prevent that water from falling back down. And the pump has a little bit easier time pushing water up. And therefore, it can push more water up with each cycle. That's the concept, and we're going to be testing that out here today. So I'm going to get this pump running. We will test with a little, uh, I guess, measuring cup to see what, how much water is produced at the top in one minute. And then I will install this valve in the delivery pipe, and we will test it again to see how much water we have in one minute. Hopefully, we have more water when the valve is installed. All right, let's get to it. Let's take a look at the setup real quick. My source water comes from this five gallon bucket and it has a float valve on it that will keep it filled up during this test. My drive pipe is about 25 feet long and comes down to a half inch ram pump. You can see the pump right down here. I'm gonna be using this five gallon bucket of water to prime the pump so that the drive pipe is full and the delivery pipe is full going uphill. It will save a lot of time with having to push that waste valve down to fill the delivery pipe. I have a 50 foot garden hose, which comes to this point right here. And I will be connecting a 100 foot hose for the first initial test right here. And then I will take this other end up to my house and hopefully I'll be able to have enough lift there to keep the pump running. In order for a ram pump to cycle on its own, the delivery pipe has to be full to give back pressure on the pressure tank. To uh, show how that works, I can close off the delivery pipe so it's got infinite back pressure. And if I press this valve a few times, you'll start seeing it work on its own here in just a moment. There we go. But as soon as I open this valve, it's gonna stop because that delivery pipe is not full. So what I'm gonna be doing now is using a drill pump, which will take water out of my bucket over here, and it will go into the waste valve with the drive pipe closed, and it will fill up that delivery pipe for me. Makes it really quick. With the drive pipe closed and the delivery pipe open, I've got my drill hooked up to the drill pump, and I'm going to fill up that uh, delivery pipe. All right, let's see if that's sufficient to get this ram pump running on its own. If there's enough water going uphill, I should be able to get this pump running pretty quick. The pump is now running very consistently and I can tell there's already output at the top. Let's go up there and measure the output without the inline valve. Here's the output of the ram pump at the very top of the garden hose. This is approximately 20 to 25 feet above the pump. I'm gonna use this measuring cup and a timer to see what water we get in uh, one minute. So here we go. For the sake of consistency, I'm going to use this location to measure both with and without the inline valve. So without the valve, I've got two and a half cups or 20 ounces. Now, if I spin this around here and let that settle down, let's see now, it's got a bit of a, a dip here. That's why I'm using this spot on both. So looks like it's gonna be right at about 600 roughly. So there we go. That's without the inline valve. Now I'm going to install this one-way valve here into the system, making sure the arrow goes upward. This is the output with the inline valve installed. Let's go ahead and time this for one minute.
from what I can tell, it is exactly the same. Two and a half cups or 20 ounces. And uh, once again, if we were to turn this around, we would see that almost 600 here on this side. Let's go ahead and stop the pump here. Now that the test has completed, I feel like those results were pretty good. So whether the delivery pipe had an inline valve in it or not, the output of the top was exactly the same. Now, there may still be a chance that if we're pumping a lot higher, that it does affect it some, but with this short distance and short height, it does not seem to make a difference whether you have an inline valve or not in the delivery pipe. If you want to check out the hydraulic ram pump, I have four different sizes available. Links in the description down below. Now there is one thing that having an inline valve in your delivery pipe can do, and that is if for some reason debris gets stuck in the inline valve in the ram pump, it will prevent all of that water from falling back down. So that is something practical you can uh, put that valve in your delivery pipe for. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.